Hi, my name's Leinka, and I'm a recovered perfectionist. And I'm going to talk to you all about perfectionism in this video. As someone who lives with perfectionism for pretty much most of my life, I can say that I'm very qualified to talk on the subject of perfectionism and wanting to be perfect. Now, often people think that perfectionism is the same as setting a high standard. They're not the same. And the reason why they're not the same is high standard and wanting to do your best and, and really bring in your best game to any particular role that you might play or a position that you might have is very different from saying that you refuse and that you do refuse to accept anything short of perfect, flawless absolutely spot on, dead on target. They're not, they're not the same. Wanting to do your best, aiming for the best, being driven to do the best that you can is different from saying that if it is not perfect, then it's not good enough. Mm. If it is not perfect, then it's not good enough. So even the effort, right? The effort is downplayed because the outcome is not perfect. And I see this time and time again, and I know personally that when something wasn't perfect, I didn't even acknowledge the time, the effort, and all of the resources that were put into that thing, myself and the people around me. Because there are different types of perfectionism. There's self-oriented perfectionism where we hold ourselves to the standard of perfect. There is other oriented perfectionism which is related to holding people to the standard of perfect. And then we have socially prescribed perfectionism like pressures that we put in on, on people in certain roles like doctors and surgeons because they're playing with people's lives, right? And and they are dealing with people's lives and people's lives are at stake. So we hold them to a perfect standard. So knowing that there are three different types of perfectionism and all of them really rely on the belief that it has to be perfect, flawless, without any mistakes, anything less than that is not good enough. And more than that, I'll tell you, more than that, we will then make that a personal identity thing. And often those of us who uh, struggle with perfectionism, who want things to be perfect, it's because inherently at the root of it, at the base of it, we have a fear and we have an insecurity of not being good enough. And for some of us, we already have the inherent belief implanted that we are not good enough. And so then we veer for perfection as a way to feel like we're good enough. But you know, we never feel good enough and nothing ever feels good enough and no one is ever good enough for us because they don't match the standard of perfect. You know, once I heard a quote from Tony Robbins who said that perfection is the lowest standard that we could ever set. And I remember listening to that and thinking, who the heck do you think you are offending me in that way? <laughs> well, I didn't say it like that, but you know, I was offended. I was offended because I just thought I'm out here wanting to do my best, wanting to give my best, wanting to get the best out of my efforts. Yeah. And you're telling me that I'm setting a low standard. How? But when I sat back and I got over myself, I realized he was right. He was right. Because perfection is a standard that no one can ever reach, ever. And so if we are setting ourselves up to fail because we're never going to reach that standard, then we are inherently setting ourselves for a low standard. Ugh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't sound good. But it's the truth. that. When we are wanting things to be flawless without any flaws, without any issues, not even a millimeter of leeway of, you know, <laughs> misalignment, 
then we are just, we're setting ourselves up to fail. And it hurts us because we want things a certain way and we demand things a certain way and we'll keep going for things to be a certain way and they typically aren't. And I find that my clients that I've worked with who struggle with perfectionism, there's no benchmark for good enough because they're always wanting to go for something perfect. And because we can never reach perfect and they can never reach perfect and the people around them can never reach perfect, there's always a shortfall. And because there's a shortfall, that means it was all worthless. That means it was all just for nothing. That means they are worthless. And it's painful that that's a truth that I used to hold about myself, but a a truth that I hear in the people that I work with or the people that I speak to, that they hold themselves to the standard of perfect. They hold other people to the standard of perfect. And so they're not even able to acknowledge the good. They're not able to embrace the good. They're not able to celebrate or be grateful for the good and all that does exist and all that was possible and all the efforts that they put in or other people put in or what was put in because the outcome the outcome is a destination that they can never attain and they never do